so we got uh, WA1W sending out some code. Thought I'd let you guys look at uh, the setup here. So you can get that. Get the width really down. Here's the IF opened up. I can really narrow it down. Now we've uh, switched it to lower sideband. center frequency but this is without any filters so when I go to CW I can hit the scope get it back on frequency so I can kind of I can kind of tune it Hit CW tune and it slides right in. So, let's show you that again. So I'm, a, so I'm a little off frequency here. Hit CW tune and it jumped right up there. You can also jump around here, touch screen. CW tune brings it right in. We hit the clear here. Hit extend. Change the decode filtering. Here's your audio scopes. Hit scope again. Decode, extend. Again, the CW tune is really a good feature. We got the filtering set real tight. We'll open it up.
Here's a decoding window right here. A little waterfall right here. So there you go. So it's a vast difference if uh, you're listening to CW in sideband versus the CW mode, obviously. But some of you wanted to hear the difference. So to me, it's very, very quiet, very, very selective. I really like this CW tune. So I'm off frequency here and hold the CW tune in a couple times and it gets it right on. I turned on a notch filter here. Now I can I could virtually tune tune it the frequent the uh, tone all the way out. So if you had something adjacent, you could tune it out. That's with a notch filter. Virtually gone away. All right, so there's a little bit of CW. So if you want to email me, Don, uh, just email me at uh, w6gps at yahoo.com. Anyway, it's just a little video on uh, CW decode and uh, a little bit of uh, filtering. Filtering is very, very nice, by the way.